Frigid and Spellbound by Spectral Wound. We're gonna go through the ending of the song, you know, with the heavy chords, the blast beats, and the lead lines. So I'm gonna play through guitar one, the first riff that we're gonna go through today. breaking down the chords so we're in D standard for this song we're going to play an A minor diet here 12 on A 10 on D and the next chord is going to be a G major diet 10 on A 9 on D it's important to get the rhythm right as well because there's six beats worth of the first chord and two beats of the second chord so it'll be one two three four one two three four one Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You know, when you eventually start playing the song at speed. We're gonna follow the same rhythm, but change the last chord. So we're gonna play this A minor again for six beats, and then we're gonna play this G major up here, 15 on A, 14 on D. Now the next chord, after you play the G, is this diminished chord here, like an F diminished, so it's just like stacked flat fifths. So it'd be 13 on low E, 14 on A, and 15 on on D. And the next chord is an E power chord here, 12, 14, 14. Okay, so that's the chords. The second guitar is doing something similar. Follows the same rhythms, of course but we're just playing the chords in a different place. So it's A, there's no more A power chord, five, seven, seven. Then going to G power chord here, three, five, five. Back to the A. Then the C power chord here, eight, 10, 10. The next two chords are F power chord and E power chord. Now let's talk about that first lead riff, okay? Guitar two plays the same chords. So whilst the chords are being played, we have this lead line. Quite straightforward. 10th fret on B, 12th fret on high E, 10th fret on B again, high E, 13th fret, back to the 10th fret on B, then we have that little line there. 10th fret of B, then quickly from high E, 12th fret to the 10th fret on B. And the final bit, 12, 13, 12, 10 on high E. Of course, we're trembling. And on the final repeat of that riff, we've got a different ending. So it follows the first part of the riff, 10 on B, 12 on E, 10 on B, 13 on high E, then we have 10 on B, 12 on high E, 10 on B, and the descending line, 13, 12, 10, finishing on the 13th fret of B.
Now the final part of the song, we've got the rhythm guitars doing this. Which is a lovely series of chords. And the chords are A power chord, 5 on 7 on low E and A. F power chord, 1 and 3 on low E and A. Then we flatten the fifth here, one on low E, two on A. Then we have the E power chord here, open E and two on A. Finishing on the G here, third fret on low E, keeping our finger on the second fret of A. At the end of the song, same chords just held for two beats each. Now, the lead part. So we have this riff here. So it follows the A power chord shape, so it's 12 on A, 14 and 14 on D and G, 12th fret on G, then we have on the D string, 15, 14, 12, and then 15 on A. So there's the first eight notes. Now the last part, 13 on low E, 15 on A, 14 on D, then we have 12 on low E, 14 and 15 on A. Focus on getting the notes right first before you start tremolo picking. Final part, you've got this final ending. So you just play the normal riff and then just finish on the 14th fret of A and add a little bit. And that's Frigid and Spellbound.